Okay, so you were saying that at the top though are the uh, precious jewels or? Precious jewelries like the sapphire, and yeah. the jade, uh, and the diamonds. Oh wow. The original height of Shirgun Pagoda is only 66 feet high. Yeah. Uh, in middle of the 14th century, uh, many Nyama and Moon Queens are added to reach present height. Yeah. Now uh, it's about 99 meter height. And uh, the Shirgun Pagoda received uh, the real gold leaves uh, in 15th century. There was uh, the queen. Uh, we, we have only one queen, Queen Shinsoku. Mm -hmm. uh, she wanted to donate uh, the real gold leaf uh, with uh, her own uh, with uh, equal to her own weight. Oh really? Yes. Uh, <laughs> wow. It's <laughs> very generous. <laughs> was she heavy or was she light? 50 kilos of the weight. <laughs> now uh, you can imagine that uh, is uh, the, the real gold leaf. Uh, yeah. Uh, we, we can calculate uh, is about uh, 30 tons of the real gold leaves uh, scrutinizing in Sri Oh wow. The history was said to be that uh, the two merchants brothers from Myanmar, yeah. uh, they went to India for trading. Yeah. Uh, fortunately, uh, at the 49th day of the Buddha hood, yeah. uh, they met our Lord Godma Buddha. Yeah. So they offered a honey cake to yeah. our Lord mm -hmm. Godma Buddha. And uh, they take the uh, they supplicate to take the refuge to Buddha, and Buddha accept them uh, to their desire. So yeah. they, they were mm -hmm. first desire of the Buddhist. Oh, I see. And uh, Buddha gave them uh, a strains of his holy hairs for worshipping. Yep. Uh, they respect, uh, they received with yeah. respectfully and they handed over to the king of the Oklaba. King of the Oklaba was uh, our Myanmar, Myanmar king. Yep. Mm. Uh, he wanted to uh, enshrine him uh, those uh, a strains of holy hairs uh, underground. Fortunately, he found a uh, trip. Uh, late uh, holy yep. uh, relics uh, of the three leg Buddhas. Mm. Uh, those are the stuff of the Kakusanda Buddha uh, enshrining in Eastern Devotional Hall. Okay. And uh, the water deba of the Konagamana Buddha in Southern Devotional Hall. Yep. And uh, the bathing rock of the Kaspa Buddha in Northern Devotional Hall. Okay. And uh, our Lord uh, our Korma Buddha was uh, uh, in uh, uh, so Northern Devotion of all, a strain of uh, his holy hairs. Right. So we also, Myanmar people say that uh, four relics of four Buddhas were enshrined in mm -hmm. Sri Dugan sure. Buddha. Sure. Uh, okay. water okay. uh, to the Buddha yep. uh, for mm -hmm. cleaning and cooling effect. Uh, believing in laws of cause and effect, uh, they, they will also get a peaceful and cleaning life. So, so people who were born on Tuesday, have to go to that particular for the Tuesday place. born people. For the we have uh, eight days. Right. Okay, so every yeah, day days. there's like a every different day being yes. celebrated. Yes. Okay. okay. So what day were you born on? I was born on Sunday. Sunday uh, is the Garuda. Oh, what does it mean? <laughs> uh, is the most powerful. Oh, oh yes. I like to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? oh yes. <laughs> Actually, what, what day were you born on? I don't know. I, don't I can know? tell you the date. Okay, the date. we'd have to research to go back in a oh, in a calendar. The 8th of May, 1969, whatever day that was. Oh, I see. <laughs> you know, it's depending upon the uh, planet. Yeah. Yeah. And also coming down from Hinduism. Right. Okay, so my planet is Saturn. Saturn. Yeah, and your planet is Venus. Is it? Yeah. Because okay. yes, you, you were Venus, born in. Uh, yeah. Yes. Is uh, nearly in Thursday. Right. Yes. So, do people believe in astrology in Burma? Yes. Are they? They are, oh, they are so I like that. Oh, I yeah, like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, uh, in every pagoda, uh, yeah. we believe that uh, all the platform are uh, yeah. uh, guarded by the guardian spirit of the priesthood. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, on okay. Shredgon pagoda, we call it uh, Shredgon Bubuji. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, he's one of the guardian spirit of the uh, this precept. Mm -hmm. Okay. For one tickle, uh, we calculate uh, 16 grams is equal to one tickle. Yeah. Now uh, it's about uh, uh, 
750,000 checks for one ticket. Right. Uh, it's uh, one piece coin. Okay. Okay, so you're saying it was mainly sort of, uh, it would be resistant and very long lasting. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Because we. Yeah. Are the ordinary people are don donating gold leaf, or uh, they, they, uh, you can you, you can see these are the donation counter. Right. Uh, they call it the manis. Okay. Uh, to uh, buy the real gold leaves. Uh, after after uh, every five years, uh, they collect uh, the real gold leaves and uh, they stick it. At, uh, they scrutinize into the Sri Lankan Pagoda yeah. in every five years. So uh, they're, they're reapplying gold yes, leaf. Yes, the, the, the real plate. Right. Wow. <laughs> so they have a look and they see where it needs more gold leaf and then they... Scrutinizing it. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Okay. It's pretty stunning. <laughs> it is. <laughs> and uh, surrounding uh, the main uh, Sri Dugan Pagoda, yep. uh, these are 68 corner stupa. Uh, it yeah. means uh, one of the Myanmar king, uh, yeah. she donated uh, his, uh, his own body. Yeah. Uh, as his birthday, uh, his yeah. uh, age of 68 years, oh, he I wanted see. to donate uh, 68 corners to her, uh, including the main uh, uh, main cardinal stupa. Oh, that one there. So yes. the, 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 these these stupa, these are like the little yes. things yes. that are yes. yes. so so surrounding the, the main stupa. So you're saying that the stupa is literally the, the, the little house where the Buddha is inside? Is that oh, I, what's I, yes. called stupa? Okay, so they would donate uh, the Buddha with the little house. That's yes. called stupa? Yes. Okay, wonderful. Yeah. For Myanmar people, uh, they don't have to uh, donate uh, the... the uh, for example, uh, for one plate. Yeah. Uh, one square feet of the plate. Uh, yeah. They call it in together. Yeah. Uh, for all year, all year, year around. Okay. Uh, and after that, uh, they donate it all together to the Shirdi Gombe Okay. Oh wow. Well. Okay. And they also have the celebrating ceremony of the real gold leaves uh, donating yeah. uh, at the year end. Yeah. Uh, in the uh, last uh, Tuesday was yeah. the full moon day of the the Bang yeah. festival. Yeah. Uh, on that uh, on that day, the people uh, went to the Sri Dugan Pagoda. Yeah. Uh, they um, met each other, and the yeah. Buddhist food trustee invited yeah. them, invited them sure. to come mm -hmm. here, yeah. and yeah. they made uh, the celebrating ceremony uh, at the same time. And then uh, they made the meritorious deeds uh, 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 to the to the ground. Um, uh, is the witness for the ground. Uh, they made the well done uh, for Myanmar. Uh, for example, uh, Myanmar people sharing their merits by striking three times uh, uh, in oh, the bells. Okay. Sure. Mm. This means uh, well done, well done, well done. Okay. okay. And do, do presumably people believe that by donating to the temple that this is a good deed that will yes, benefit uh, them in the yes, future? Yes, and uh, they also uh, eradicated the life cycle and mm -hmm. reincarnation. Yeah. Yeah. So they, they'll believe they'll be reincarnated they, they, as something a bit better than, yes. than if they hadn't some made the donation. Some people are waiting the, the future Buddhas. Yeah. And some people are eradicated uh, to the uh, reincarnation. Sure. So they get uh, the life cycle and yeah. after that uh, they will get the Arahat. Okay. Arahat means uh, the, uh, the person uh, yeah. who attained uh, the pre -nibana. Yeah. Uh, okay. So, so how much gold would I have to donate to become to achieve that, that ultimate status? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> would the it be a lot of gold? Goal, yes. <laughs> it's a, okay. all, all the people believe that uh, they will get the uh, peaceful and nice life uh, in the next. Yeah. Okay. In the next life, yes, if, the if, next they, life. if they yes. donate as much gold as they can, yeah? Yes. <laughs> I, I, okay. I this life, what, what if I donate a lot of gold in this life? Do I, do I have a nice life now or do I have to wait? <laughs> <laughs> to be reincarnated. <laughs> <laughs> there okay. yeah. Thank you. In 1999, uh, our ex-government, uh, yeah. uh, like the minister, yeah. uh, he donated uh, the real J Buddha, including uh, the rubies uh, and the diamond. Okay. In the full hat, uh, yeah. mm -hmm. it's decorated with the real rubies and 
Yeah, that's this, this, yeah, this one. Run inside. Can we go and have yes, a look at that? Yeah. Okay, I can see it around, uh, around his head. Yeah. Between two eyebrows are is 10 carats of the real diamond. Oh, wow. television shows uh, the Buddhas, sure. uh, that Buddha is located on the above platform, mm -hmm. uh, on the above and uh, under the Eastern Shrine Hall. Mm -hmm. uh, there was the ruby eye there, there is the ruby eyed Buddha, the wish fulfilling ruby eye Buddha. Uh, and in, in what, 18, what does that mean? Uh, in 1852, mm -hmm. uh, the Japanese soldier digged the canal, the sure. tunnel, yep. mm -hmm. uh, at the above platform. Yep. Uh, yeah. Their reason was to store the munition. Sure. Mm -hmm. So one of the famous wizard, uh, Bobo uh, Ao, yep. uh, our famous wizard, yep. uh, he bricked the canal, uh, tunnel, and yep. uh, he placed uh, the ruby iron Buddha. Yep. Since uh, 1852. Sure. Okay. So the Japanese are building a tunnel, yes. and this, this, they to store the munition. Their store, munition. The mun store their munitions, yeah. and, yes. and presumably people here didn't want yes, them to uh, do that. So one of the was that uh, he don't want to yeah. uh, store the munition because sure. that is the religious place. Sure, yeah. uh, it's our re religious place. Mm -hmm. uh, sure. So uh, he uh, bricked. He bricked it up. Yes, that that tunnel, and he sure. placed a uh, ruby iron Buddha, sure. uh, the real ruby. Sure. And uh, the ancient uh, Myanmar, Myanmar kings also believe that uh, if, uh, the Buddha is wish fulfilling. Buddha is. Uh, the Buddha, that ruby eye Buddha is wish fulfilling. Oh really? Okay. And when you say it's a ruby eye Buddha, is there there's a it's ruby? It's on the upper platform with the, the ruby eye. Ruby ruby eyes. Yes, ruby eye. Right. Okay. The white elephant is the power food of the king. Sure. Uh, the white the elephant. king are uh, yeah. uh, they got, sure. they got uh, the white elephant. Uh, they have the power food. So uh, the first priority is that uh, the white elephant. Oh really? Oh, to show that they're powerful? Yes, uh, to, to show they're powerful. Okay, I need to cut some white elephants. <laughs> <laughs> I noticed, like, you, you can't really get at the main pagoda itself, so there's like a certain distance where uh, presumably are people allowed this far and then beyond, it's kind of... Um, only for monks or holy yes, people? Yes, only the monks yeah. are can go So is, is, uh, does the bell have a meaning in, in Buddhism? Yes, uh, the bell, uh, you can uh, notice that uh, the bell, uh, if uh, the people strike in, uh, the bell in three times, uh, yeah. uh, all the worldwide, uh, all the universe can hear in, uh, the okay. sound. So that's why the, the Burmese pagodas are in the shape of a bell? Yes. Okay. So mm -hmm. inside, okay. 
the Firgon Pagoda is also the solid. Uh, oh, it's wow. seven layer, uh, gold lead, timber, copper, mm -hmm. vanilla, and the iron, and uh, finally with the marble. It must and be very fact, heavy if it's no, if it's solid inside that it's yes, not hollow. It yeah, it's not hollow. Uh, it's also encrusted uh, with the real gold leaves. Yeah. And it's also covered with the brick. Do you know what the estimated value of all this <laughs> here is? It's got to be we enormous. That. It can't. It can't be even. Yes. Uh, you know, uh, only one uh, 76 carat of the real diamond on the top. Uh, yeah. It's not. Uh, it's very valuable. We cannot imagine the price. It's I would say it's priceless because of the like the, the heritage value yes. and and obviously historical value and and the amount of gold leaf. So. Yes. It's incredible. Yeah. And uh, at the umbrella, the, the people yeah. donated and mm -hmm. uh, hanging up with the real gold bells. Oh wow! There are over five thousand real gold bells. And are they at the uh, top? Hanging up, uh, like the round umbrella. Around the umbrella. Yes, oh, okay, so that umbrella. that's the the sort of the upper bit of yes. the pagoda, yeah. Yes, upper bit of the banana bell. Okay. We should walk in a clockwise, in clockwise position. position. And why is that again? Because uh, because uh, uh, most of the Myanmar people put the noble things uh, like the Buddha's images yeah. uh, at the right side. Yeah. Okay. So we're, we're walking in a clockwise position, <laughs> yes. yeah? <laughs> the most valuable things uh, they donate uh, to the Buddha, they can get their uh, prosperity in their lives. Okay, but it's got to happen in the next life, or yes, is it for the, in the prosperity in the, in the current ride? Uh, in this life. Oh, so you can get the prosperity in the current life, not just uh, a next life. Believing in laws of cause and effect, uh, the Buddha was uh, the Buddha is shining with the goals. Yeah. Uh, they will also get the shining in their lives, uh, like uh, they got. Uh, they will get uh, the prosperities uh, in their lives. Mm -hmm like the uh, win the lottery. <laughs> oh really? Oh, I'd love that myself. <laughs> On Boost Day, uh, we have uh, to celebrate uh, the second light festival of Myanmar. Mm -hmm. uh, the full moon day of the Zamo. Uh, on that day, uh, there were about 15 competition groups, uh, especially the ladies. Mm -hmm. uh, they have to finish uh, the weaving uh, before midnight. We yeah. had to finish uh, the weaving, like two meters. Yeah. Uh, and uh, after the uh, after the full moon day of the Dzamo, uh, after midnight, uh, the first four six weaving uh, donated uh, to the four main stupas, mm -hmm. four main devotional hall. Uh, as yeah. I have already explained you, the sure, four sure. main Buddha images. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And also uh, the other competitions are uh, donated uh, the other. Uh, stick weaving to the Buddha images. Okay. So uh, now yeah, you see many uh, stick weaving uh, on the Buddha. Silk weaving. Silk yeah. weaving. Okay. We also call non steel weaving competitions mm -hmm. on every October. Sure. And I can see the colours are mainly like yellow and Bordeaux. So yeah, are these like, the? It's like the robes. Like the robes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. The yellow compare like the gold. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the kind of the border looks a bit like the, the woodwork, the carving that you have, the wooden carving. It's almost that that's the colour of the other one. So the border one, sort of similar to the colour of the carving. Yes. Yeah. So is, is that linked against to just match the colours of a... Just match the colour. Yeah. Uh, and most of the temple uh, uh, the Buddhist food trustee choose the, the red mm -hmm. uh, and the dark red, uh, the brown, the brown and the yeah. gold, uh, like the yellow. Mm -hmm. And I can see that they, they're using like the specific uh, flower, the, the white flower, These are for the offerings? Yes, or? Uh, jasmine and the ginger flowers uh, for the beautiful lives. Is it? Yes. Okay.